Well, welcome to the show, by the way. That was really great. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks for having us. Oh, it's really nice to have you. But I, I, I want to ask about the story, but I got to ask about the song because that line is sticking with me now, feeling discontent because this modern life is choking me to death. Can, mm-hmm. someone, tell, can someone tell me about that song? Um, this is sort of just a song about kind of feeling frustrated with, like, you know, the political climate, the global climate, um, sort of, like, functioning and, like, you know, the idea of being productive and sort of a system that isn't necessarily something I believe in fully right now. Right. Um, and just kind of... Like a capitalist system? Yeah. And right. just feeling a little bit held underwater by it and, yeah, choked. <laughs> choked to death. Choked to choked death. death. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's, a, it's, a, it's a really great song. Before I listen, can we just move off of music just for a second? We're not really like off of the songs, but like, I heard the story about you guys that I want to get from you. That you opened up for the Pixies. We did. Mm. But on like a couple of hours notice. Yeah. Can someone tell me what went down here? Um, Their opener got held up at the border. This is a show in Toronto, like yes. last week. Yes. Right. Um, so we got a call at like 1 p.m. or 2 p.m. or something being like, are you working tonight? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we just like scrambled and got there for like five for sound check. And it was like a wild three hours were you guys fans of the band yeah definitely yeah for sure i saw them years ago when i was in high school mm-hmm. and so this was very exciting i mean it's it's all right you know because that way you don't have the time to stress out about it that way you don't have the time to worry about it yeah i, I was still stressed out about it <laughs> <laughs> but not as stressed out about it as i as i might have been and how did it go it was great it went really well yeah. it was it was nice to have a like pretty full phoenix all paying oh, this attention. Is, this is the and... Phoenix Concert Hall in Toronto. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So pe- oh, people were, people, yeah, I mean, you guys are People great. were into it. Yeah, it was yeah. nice. Yeah, people were really, like, engaged. It mm-hmm. was great. Did you get to meet Black Francis? No. no. I got to meet him. Oh, yeah? Uh, and? Um, <laughs> he's a lovely guy. Lovely guy. But, uh, you know, he was, a, he was a tough caramel to chew. Mm. Not going to lie to you. But, you yeah. know, we had a, but we had, I don't know what that means, really. <laughs> but <laughs> but we, I know we had a good time, but it took, it took a little bit of work. But we ended up having a really nice conversation. I don't know. To be honest, everyone said to me, like, oh, he's a little tough. But he was actually quite lovely. Mm, great. Anyway, yeah. that's all I want to talk to you about is Black Francis. No, I'm, all, I'm only joking. Mm. Um, this is a really amazing record you guys made together. Um, when did you guys first get together? Uh, we started playing together in 2014, mm-hmm. around then. Had you guys known each other for a while? We're old high school friends, yeah. Oh, from where? Earl Hag, North York. Mm-hmm. Is this in? This is Toronto. Mm-hmm. Yes. What's Earl Hag mean? That's the I, name of the school. It's an Earl, I suppose. <laughs> oh, that's the name of the school. So you guys, yeah. you, you guys knew each other in high school. <laughs> yeah. And stayed, stayed, stayed buds. Yes. And then eventually started a band together. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So when, in 2014, is that when it became kind of serious about ice cream? Um, yeah. I mean. Yeah, it was like I guess serious from the get go in a way, yeah. but but also like we started doing it just sort of for fun. We didn't have any like any grand designs or anything with it, but we started doing it pretty like full on pretty early. Mm-hmm. It's it's really amazing music, Can I, and I never normally actually do this because I, I, it's one of those questions that we don't typically ask. But I, I do want to ask it. The, can I ask about the name? Yeah. Uh, it, w- it was just a name that I had in my back pocket for a long time. Like, if I ever start a project, I want it to be called Ice Cream. Which, you know, in hindsight, uh, not optimal for Google searches. For SEO. Yeah. Yeah. So, but, you know, it's a good enough name that I feel like it's worth it. Um, what, what I really love about you guys is it's, it's a really great mix of, of kind of pop music, electronic music, and then really like excellent guitar playing as well. And I feel like it's, it's guitar in a context that I don't necessarily hear it. Can you, can you tell me about the evolution of that? Um, or is that something that's always been in the band? Uh, well, actually, we when we first started, I was playing bass um, almost exclusively. We had like a couple songs where I would play guitar. Um, I think because I had been playing guitar for so long, I had had a lot of like particular habits with it and when I was playing bass I hadn't really developed those habits so you were I was able to write like sort of more interesting things Mm -hmm. um and so now even still like I don't really use the guitar as like a writing tool it's kind of more like adding like flourishes afterwards or which is also why my playing ends up being like a lot of solos (laughs) right but very very rhythmic solos Amanda Mm -hmm. what what song you guys gonna do next we're gonna be doing Dove's Cry Tell me a little bit about it. Well, Carlin wrote this one. Um, <laughs> it is a 
yeah, go go for it. Um, I've been describing it as a shopping fantasy um, in which a liquid soap uh, produces self-love. So it's called Dove's Cry as a kind of uh, send-up of Dove Soap, which had these sort of, uh, like love yourself campaign or whatever it was <laughs> <laughs> that I thought was like a little bit ridiculous. Sort of the idea that um, a product can can solve like th- those problems for you. you know? It feels like a, a good song for this time of year as we are going out shopping true. Yeah, 15, that's true. 16 hours a day. That's true. It's not going to make us feel any better. No.